All right, Trend Networks is releasing two new fusion splicers. I found out about this and I got extremely excited because you're gonna like and subscribe and then after that, I'm gonna do an unboxing the next video. But the reason why I was excited is because they make reliable, good hardware. Like all the ones up here. I got a Navitech PoE Pro, their Tonin Probe, and I've been playing with the FiberMaster OTDR. It's built extremely well. So when I found out that they were releasing two Fusion Splicers, I thought to myself, those are gonna be some really nice products. So today, we're gonna talk about, and I'm gonna show you some photos of what this stuff looks like. Mine's on the way, It'll be here in a couple weeks, but when it gets here, I will be immediately doing an unboxing video showing you everything that's included. I'm getting the S60. I will show you everything that goes on there. There's three things I wanna to explain to you guys that really made me happy and that made me was like, yeah, this jives with this product. So the first one, three year warranty. A lot of other brands I see people buy that are lower quality, but they work, are one year warranty. Some of the higher end models I see that are thousands of dollars, one year warranty. These, three year warranty. They come with a Sapphire plan that you can purchase extra. The Sapphire plan allows you to have a turnaround. So if yours breaks, maybe you dropped it by accident, they have a loaner program that will allow you to have a loaner while yours is getting fixed. The three year warranty plus a Sapphire plan, especially if you rely on this product every day because it makes you your money to live and does your job, pretty huge feature. The next one, or I would say the, maybe the second one that I really like is we always have to talk about a light budget. Now, both of these, the S40 and the S60, have a splice loss as low as 0.01 dB on both of them. Now, there's two models, S60, S40. I'll talk about that in a second. But when you are fusion splicing, you have a light budget. You can have a really big light budget and not really matter about your fusion splicing or your connectors and stuff like that because you have a, light, a lot, a big budget. But if you have products that don't have a large budget for light and you have all those in there, you will have issues because there's not enough light to, so without errors. When you have a product like this or these and you have 0.01 dB loss, are your, when you're doing your splicing, it's basically like saying there's hardly any loss, which is perfect, okay? They have two models. I'm gonna talk about those. There's a, I'll grab my notes, the S60, which is an active core alignment splicer. Pictures will be on the side here. And then they have the S40, adaptive clad alignment splicer. The FiberMaster S60 is optimized for trunk networks at high volume splicing and telecom applications. Whereas the 40, the S40, is, a is ideal for fiber to the home, FTTH, installation and enterprise networks. Two different versions. They both have that 0.01 dB splicing they both come with, and I'll lead off the features and I'll put those right here, a case, a nice heavy duty case, I believe, it's a bit, I believe it's a heavy duty case, picture right here, extra electrodes, they come with a pair and they'll come with an extra pair so that way you're not stranded out there and you don't know when you have to have a pair to change it out, a cooling tray, so you have your um, heat shrink tubes, It'll have that so when you do your spicing, you can put them into your tray. They also include 50 of each size, the 60s and the 40s included in there. They come with a battery, Cavalier shears, a fiber stripper. Now, I'm really interested in trying that because I have many different 
They're not here on my desk, but they have, I have many different brands and types of strippers and they all have a unique different feature. And I'm really curious to see how these work. They also have a drop cable stripper for the FTTH guys where you have a piece of drop cable and you can clip it on there and you can pull it and it strips it for you. Very, very handy. I want to get into a little bit of specs here for you guys though. So the S60 has a five inch color display. The S40 has a 4.3 inch color display. Now, I saw a picture of one and a guy touching it, but I'm not too sure if they're touch screen or not. I'll let you guys know if I, when I find out, I'll put the information later below. They both have a really good battery. So the S60 will do 280 splices slash heat cycles. So splice, heat shrink, up to 280 times on a full charge, where the S40 will do 27 or 240 heat cycles plus fusion splices and going on. I see that it has a USB port on the side, but to note, that port could be used for the light that comes with it. There's a little light you plug into it, so that way when you're, if you're working in a dark area or if you have bad eyes like mine where you need to see stuff a little bit brighter, the little plug has a set on the side, plugs in a, a USB light. Very, very nice touch, I like that. Easy to use interface. I'm gonna go over all that when I do my unboxing when mine comes. I'm gonna show you guys how easy it is and then I'll get into some technical stuff into another video. Can't wait for mine to get here. And I wanna say thank you to Trend Networks for sending me one because I'm very excited to do this stuff. Um, what else we have here? We have our protective cover in both of them. So when you put your fiber in there and you're ready to fusion splice, you put the cover over it, you won't get any dust and debris in there. Awesome, like that. I wrote a whole bunch of notes down here. I wanted to let you guys know because I'm excited about this. This is awesome news. I'm going to go over some of the accessories that come in here. Now, the one that stands out the most, like I said, fiber strippers. Awesome. Three hole. Right here. You'll see three holes. They're blue. <laughs> Team blue. I like that. The next one is cleavers. It comes with two types of cleavers. One, I'm gonna assume that it's gonna come with the standard, which is just a little tiny square one. Put your fiber in there, you'll push your wheel forward, you'll close it, it'll cut the cable. Has a little drop box on the side for your chunks to go into, like your spare fibers that you cut goes into there, safe. And then it looks like it has a pro cleaver where you put your fiber in there and then you just squeeze it and it cuts it. Both will do the same cutting. One is just a little bit handier, I believe. I've never used one, so Someone's gonna correct me on that one. It's okay, still learning. The next thing is they come with three types of clamps. The clamps are what hold your fiber in there. Now I'm used to the device that you put your fiber in there, you close it, and you clamp it and it stays into the unit. But these ones will allow you to get your fiber ready, put your clamp on there and adjust it for perfect accuracy so that way they're really close to the electrode so it's perfect. There's three of them. The first one is gonna be a 23 millimeter clamp. The next one will be a 250 micron. And then the other one will be a 900 micron. Now I'm not too sure which one's gonna come with the kit. I'm gonna say when you order it, you'll have to order a certain kit. Or they might maybe include a set with somebody, with one of them, like a more common one. And I'm gonna say that 250 is probably gonna be the more common one but you could buy extra ones so you have spares on site in your bucket because you never know because maybe you were gonna to go to site and it's like, oh, I got 250 here or I'm used to using 900, but now I need a 250 so you could buy all three or the 23 millimeter. You could buy extra batteries. So maybe you're on a job site and you know you're gonna be doing more than, what is it, 270 or 200 and or 280 or 240 splices, depending on which model you have, you could buy an extra battery. So you could take it out, put it in, keep going, don't have to be stranded, depending on how many splices you do in a day. Okay? And of course you could buy extra cutting wheels for your, uh, your uh, cleavers. I'm extremely excited for this. And I just, when I found the news out about this, I was like, oh, finally an awesome fusion splicer. I'm going to leave the video like that. I'm going to say if you have any questions down below, you can leave comments. 
I will ask, you can leave the questions. I will answer them as best as I can. And if I don't know, I will let you know about getting the answer and go from there. So simple video. I'm excited. You guys are probably excited and uh, like and subscribe because when the video come or when the products come out, they're going to be awesome. You guys have a great day and um, thanks for watching again. Have a good one.